Hey all, welcome back to my channel where here we discuss how to become the best version of ourselves. Today I want to talk about self-esteem because nobody seems to take it that seriously. But when you think about it, self-esteem is actually the backbone to all things negative on this planet. Hear me out. Anytime we feel any type of void, and we fill that void with wants or what we think we need or what we're telling ourselves, our thoughts, our feelings, the negativity, we always seek to fill that void through other things. That's where things like addiction or the seven deadly sins come in, where we have a void, we don't understand where it's coming from, so we either beat ourselves up about it or we don't know how to feel about it or we avoid the feeling about it or we try to make ourselves feel better in all of the wrong ways. What that genuinely boils down to is how you think and how you feel about yourself. You see, humans have this deep-seated connection to one another where we just want to feel important. We just want to feel liked. We just want to feel like we are enough. There's a lot of people on the, in this planet who really just don't feel that way about themselves. And it's like, how can you expect everyone to like you if you don't even like yourself? In fact, you're going to take the dislikes and you're going to take it 10 times more seriously if you don't like yourself. Building confidence can literally make or break your life. And I mean that in the most serious way. There is no ifs, ands, buts about it. People who have nailed their self-esteem to where they just get it. They love themselves. They love life. They've healed themselves both internally and externally. I'm talking mental and physical. Your nervous system runs throughout your body for a reason. Everything's connected. So the thoughts that you think and what you're telling yourself genuinely are going to reflect somewhere inside of you and somewhere outside of you. So let's break this down. And I'm going to talk about this a lot throughout my channel. So this might get a little bit of annoying, but I really need you to get this. Our subconscious is actually built before the age of seven. So it's when we're children. All of the pains and the traumas that we've experienced past that age and into our adult lives re-trigger deep-seated emotions or subconscious thoughts that we had about ourselves way back when. Let me give you a couple of examples here. Okay, so it's that child who had a little bit too much alone time, so they told themselves, I don't need anyone, I'll just play alone. Or their classmates rejected them, so they thought, you know what, I'm not worthy. I'll never be accepted. Nobody likes me. It's the seven-year-old who lost a game and they told themselves, I can't live up to anyone, anyone's expectations. That child who witnessed something really horrible like someone ODing or their parent getting hurt by someone else. So they tell themselves, people are scary. I'm never gonna trust them again. There are thousands of reasons we created these deep-seated beliefs within ourselves. Be them innocent or malicious. For an example, a teacher asking for an answer that a child doesn't know is a pretty innocent gesture. But if that child tells themselves, I'm stupid, I'm an embarrassment because I didn't know that answer, then just like that, a self-sabotaging belief is made. Our conscious self is very unlikely to speak to ourselves or anybody else in that way for that manner. I would never really look at myself and be like, you're stupid, you're ugly, you're an embarrassment, you're terrible. I wouldn't say that to anybody else either. That's just really hurtful. But our subconscious, you see, that was created to protect us. Our subconscious, we built in those very, very young ages, these beliefs and a belief system that our mind is like, okay, I never want you to feel this way again. I never want you to be embarrassed. Therefore, I'm going to try to protect you from you ever putting yourself in these situations again. There go. You push people away. You don't take chances. You're scared to succeed, but you're scared to fail. You see, our subconscious is way more powerful than you could ever imagine. So in this video, I'm just here to tell you this is something that we need to work on. We need to stop these beliefs in their tracks because once we start doing that and we start building that self-love and that self-trust again, everybody around us, whether it's our kids, our spouses, our bosses, they're gonna benefit from this. And it's really, really sad 
to see good people who hate themselves so much. I'm like, humans, we have this ability to help each other. We have this ability to make each other smile. We can do and have done really great things. So why is it so hard for us to build a self-esteem, to love ourselves, to want to take this stuff seriously? I'm gonna start linking a couple of videos and we're gonna start talking about this. I want to teach you guys little things that I've been doing that work on how to build back that self-esteem and on how to really genuinely love yourself again. I see it on the internet. There's a lot of people that are saying, hey, self-love is important. Hey, you need to work on um, your thoughts and your feelings. Hey, you need to be mindful of what you're telling yourself, but nobody's really explaining how to do it. So this was just kind of more of an awareness video of what's to come. Stay tuned and let's start talking.